children of the atom. Men and women granted the power beyond measure. Mankind, not understanding these gifts of evolution, have chosen to meet them with persecution and death. There are those mutants who agree with the humans that this world is too small for both species, and that one shall, by necessity, be forever stricken from the face of the earth. I believe in an alternative, a world wherein man and mutant coexist in peace. They're providing a much needed balance to an all too fragile world. To that end, I have assembled those men and women willing to fight for their peace, to defend the world that fears and hates them. To that end, I, Professor Charles Xavier, assembled the X-Men. We're under attack. Understood, Charles. to create any technological device his imagination can conceive of. We are going to create wonderful things together, you and I. The X-Men are sure to mount some form of rescue attempt. Activate the mutagenic displacement field to create false readings of Forge's energy signature. Send them chasing the Brotherhood until we're better prepared for them. And deploy a few Sentinels to each location. I want to assess the X-Men's current fighting strength. Global tracking network. Online mutagenic signatures. Brotherhood located. As you can see, whoever abducted Forge knows our technology and methods. The presence of the Brotherhood would indicate that this is Magneto's doing, which fits. Magneto knows us well enough to hamper our pursuit. Therefore, we will need more than one strike team to check each of the signals indicating Forge's presence. Some of you are injured. You will need to stay behind. That will leave only a handful of you for each strike team. Time is of the essence. Forge knows secrets, far too many for us to find him at our leisure. If those secrets were ever turned against us. Be careful, my children, and good luck. The X-Men, scattered, used their myriad skills to the utmost in a race against time. Unbeknownst to us, however, our most salient fears had already begun to unfold. Try to relax, mutant, as I peel and strip your mind like an onion. 
Very soon I will have everything I need to finally rid the world of your kind. George is both Cheyenne medicine man and a proven hero. His will is as indomitable as any of his fellow X-Men. Such is the way of heroes. However, even the strongest of men, it is said, have their moments of fatigue. Excellent. The extinction of Homo sapiens superior, mutants, begins now. Once the X-Men were engaged in pitch battle against their Brotherhood adversaries, Forger's predicament worsened. Bastion then began to manipulate Forge into creating new weapons, even deadlier upgrades for his legion of Prime Sentinels. The irony is exquisite, isn't it? Your mutant gifts will be used to bring your kind to its knees. This is your true destiny, harbinger of mutant extinction. Precarious as our situation was, I realized there was one thing that could make it worse. Magneto. However, after the tragedy in his former kingdom of Genosha, Magneto had retreated from the world. With all that faced the X-Men already, I counted as fortunate that my one-time friend had not been drawn into the conflict. The battle for the Citadel was furious, but there was no real doubt as to the outcome. The power-dampening technology wielded by the Prime Sentinels proved too much for even the Master of Magnetism to overcome. So he retreated for the moment to gather reinforcements. When Magneto's call went out, the scattered members of the Brotherhood began to converge upon the Savage Lands. Are you certain this is Bastion we're dealing with? It is as I said, woman. There is little time to waste. You idiot. You've brought the X-Men to our very gates. But if we could get them to listen to our side of things... Stop the X-Men quickly, but leave them alive. We will need them for what is to come. Magneto, what the hell is going on? Aren't these Prime Sentinels under your control? Of course they're not. It appears that Bastion, despite all reason, has returned. Bastion? We barely beat him the last time. I'll lay odds that he's the one who took Forge, too. Forge? Yes, it all makes sense now. The Sentinels that drove me from my Citadel had technology designed to strip a mutant of their powers. Forge has made a weapon like this in the past, has he not? He has. I should know. I was the first victim. But the weapon was destroyed, and Forge vowed he would never make another. Not willingly, at any rate. Come, we have much to discuss. All of us. A hasty council of war was convened consisting of some of the most powerful mutants alive. Their mutual goal, end this new sentinel menace before it ends them. In the coming battle, no quarter would be asked and none given. Nothing short of the very fate of mutant kind hung in the balance. <laughs>